dry all week and then here we go with some rain on Friday and uh, showers um, not too heavy most of the evening. If you are headed out for some football games or uh, for uh, any evening activities, it might rain off and on from time to time for the next few hours, but not looking for any long lasting rain, you know, for like an hour or two. But you can see the first one five Doppler network. Most of the heavier rain is still offshore, but not really able to get too far inland, at least in widespread fashion. If we zoom into a couple spots, you see there are a couple of little showers moving one popping up there just north of Alamo moving to the west. I mean, that's something if when it moves across, it might rain for five or six minutes. Another area of rain kind of fading, but moving out from Hidalgo and Granjeno into Mexico. Lower Valley over Brownsville, just one little shower moving through right now, and there still may be a couple more of these little showers popping up anytime this evening. Most of Willis County, which had some of the heavier showers within the last few hours, not too much left. There's still some rain at times over the Bay Waters near Port Mansfield and some heavier rain moving west of San Manuel. But again, if you're headed out this evening, you might get hit by a quick burst of rain, maybe for 10, 15, 20 minutes, but most areas probably just getting some sprinkles or a little shower at times. But I think the majority of football games, you know, 90% of the time it's going to be dry. You just might, you know, have to hit the concession stand once when the uh, rain's coming down and take your towels too. You want to dry your seats off if you're out there. 81 in Westlaco right now, 79 in Rio Grande City and 77 in Brownsville and football games this evening again. Couple of showers here and there, not going to rain nonstop anywhere this evening, but kind of just cloudy and somewhat more humid though. Temperatures will be holding mostly in the upper 70s during the game time, with again a shower at times. The first 1 5 uh, satellite radar across Texas, most of the state is actually pretty clear. You see, once you get north of the valley, it's all sunshine all the way up into Oklahoma and Kansas. So the tropical moisture, which is giving us the rain, is kind of just right here on the edge of the valley and it's going to start to drift south and later tonight and tomorrow. And that means probably no rain tomorrow, except maybe uh, one or two early early morning showers, maybe before about nine in the morning. Hurricane Katia is to the south. It's some of that tropical moisture that's up on the north side is bringing us the rain today. But this hurricane will move into Mexico between Veracruz and Tampico tonight with very heavy rain between those cities and in the mountains. Could be a, upwards of maybe locally 15, 20, 25 inches over the next few days down there. Temperatures mainly in the 80s tomorrow across the valley with sunshine reappearing. It may be a little cloudy to start today. And you see on future track, we have clouds around initially tomorrow morning. But after that, some sunshine breaks through and lower humidity. Humidity is up now, but I think by tomorrow afternoon, it starts to really drop again. And it stays down for a few days. It looks like Saturday afternoon, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the humidity very low. And that means cooler nights, warm afternoons with sunshine. We'll be near 89 tomorrow, but 91 on Sunday. 92 on Monday, then back up in the upper 90s, getting hot again later in the week, and the humidity comes back again with warmer nights by Thursday. But enjoy those, those few nights there in the 60s. We do have a few cool nights ahead in your first 1-5 forecast.